Oh, it's a plasma weapon. Of course, if you shoot a plasma into an engine, bam. Just kablam, boom, bam. Kablam, be boom, be boom. Kabooya, blam. That's what you get. Just kabooya, blam. Open, so it should be the next uh, place we need to go to. The car reminds me of something. At least it stopped raining. An old Austin Mini sets on deflated tires by one of the huge supporting struts of the car park. The Mini seems to have been stripped of most of its innards and two of the windows are missing. We're not going to be driving out of here, that's for sure. Supercars, that's it. I was wondering what it reminded me of, but you said it. Supercars. After all, if you fail to kill something with a blast bulb, I mean, you need more doom time. A pair of sturdy looking wire cutters with the plastic orange handles. The metal blades will look sharp and almost unused. Well, all I can say is um, a yoink. In the back of this van is a crumpled tarpaulin covered with splashes of plaster and paint. You'll lift one corner of the tarpaulin and see that there's nothing concealed beneath. A battered old builder's van. The back of the van is open. The cab has a row of lights fixed to the top. You look into the cab and spot a pair of fluffy dice hanging by the rear view mirror. Orale. Now nobody be driving over me. This ain't GTA. Old house. Chapel's house. I think I need to go to the boat house first, right? Old house here on the edge of the beach stands on stilts above the black water. This area is part of the old docks, and most buildings here are disused. First, I'm gonna go and check home. Gotta make sure that it's still standing. Doom 3 plasma gun reloading sound. Apparently it's a good sound. All these numbers and everything makes me want to play Star Control 2 for some reason. And I don't know why. Why numbers? And codes. Does that make any sense to anybody? While you're here, grab that beer bottle you don't. Saves us time. We got it. Anything else you remember I might have to get? Or any item that I can drop? <sighs> Although we do still have a nine inventory spots, so it doesn't really matter. That reminds me, I need to try Doom 16 Remake again. I originally tried on my old comp and it choked at the title. With this better comp, it might actually work. I should do that too now that I have a new graphics card. Might work a little bit better. Like I recently played through uh, Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Because of the new graphics card, they look a lot better and worked uh, a lot better. Didn't uh, didn't glitch much and also was a lot, lot smoother to play. They were fun to play through anyway. Doom VR two. Yeah, I've heard that the Doom VR. It's not a very good game. At least I've heard so. I do have a lot of VR games though. 
I still haven't played any of them even uh, though this new graphics card would play them a lot better. You tried to play keep talking with it, so half point. Well, uh, um, it works. I mean, the VR works with keep talking. It works. The problem with keep talking was that I couldn't record it. And that's a different thing. I mean, I could see it in VR just easily. Recording it was the problem. Because it wouldn't show the game in the display screen that it should. But it wouldn't just wouldn't show the game at all so I could see it but the it wouldn't record that was the problem some VR games are finicky like that that you have to sub do something to make it work this rusty metal pipe emerges from the sand and touches the edge of the water foul smelling sewage gushes out of the pipe into the sea it looks disgusting well, it should, because it's sewage. Uh. A junction box. You see a metal plate lightly covered with sand. A raised symbol in the surface shows a lightning bolt. This must be some sort of electrical junction box. You remove the sand from the cover with your hands. Nice. Animated. Having removed the sand from the lid of the jun junction box, you can see that there is a thin gap around the lid. There's no reason to do it. Well, compact didn't. Actually, I do need to open that because of the security device, right? Security... Security alert. I know how to type. You aren't sure what this does, but there is a shallow trench in the sand that leads directly downwards to the sea. It looks as if this thing might fire a laser bolt of some kind. Can I not get myself killed? An extremely large brown rock. That was very important. I mean, it would be fun to see what kind of animation they have for getting yourself killed on this. Fine. I'll go get a fork or something. I need something to open the other Unless I do already have it with me. As easy as it is to break into the systems here, maybe the misspelling is strangely appropriate. Now I know that the knife that I used to have is completely pointless to have because it got broken when we used it two times. So what I'm thinking is the fork. This time. A metallic fork with three prongs. The fork has obviously been used recently. I wonder why. A very sharp knife made of stainless alloy. It is not clean. Maybe I can still use it. So long. Find something to use it. With. Got it. I mean, it's a knife. It has multiple uses. So let's see if this works. I don't know. 
There's no reason to do that. Okay. No reason to do that. No reason to do that. There's no reason to do that. No reason, 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 not even a magnet. Okay, so if I don't use any of those items, what do I use? Do I have to pick one of the freaking rocks and bash it with it? A massive clump of rocks covered with a sheen of water. The light from the moon catches them and casts dark long shadows from them. They look very strange. Walks back to the box. Now there's a knife. Bone house area puzzles is the most idiotic ones in the game. I hate it to this day. Uh -huh. A group of slippery wet rocks covered in with bumps and hollows, worn smooth by the sea. Under the sea, doo -doo -doo -doo. under the sea. Two round rocks nestled together in a small, small pool of sea water. The rocks resist any attempt to move them. They are stuck solidly in the mud. Under the sea, doo -doo -doo -doo. under the sea. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The rocks is useless. These large round brown rocks by the water's edge are cold and damp to the touch. Seaweed and barnacles are visible towards the ground, so you assume the tide must come up pretty far. You can't use the rocks. Oh, I can use the pipe with something. Quite disgusted, you thrust your hand under the filthy water and take it as much as you can. Ah. Short circuit with, with disgusting sewage water. Got it. Use. Yeah, there's no. Okay. A green beer bottle with a white label that is peeling off at the corners. It contains, contains some water. Find something to fill the bottle with if you want to. Already did! So I guess I do need to open it first, then use the water. The rock is useless. No, he's not. Go tell that to his face. And then you will be smelling what the rock is cooking. Am I even close to a solution here? The system is down. The cheat is grounded. The cheat is grounded. You do know that light source is only for inf un just used to, for emergencies only. Missing one item which is in this area. I'm trying to find something. But I don't know where to look for it. There's one rock over here, a small brown rock on the water's edge. You lift the rock up here underneath. There's a crab set underneath. You replace the rock carefully. Okay. Very okay. Ah. A boulder that has been worn smooth by the constant ebb and flow of the tide along the shore. There's a line around the boulder where the seaweed stops. 
The can't use the ball. Good to know the can't can't good you can't can can't be can't. <laughs> broken English is broken. Must fix. So I'm assuming that there is one rock that I can pick up to use to open the freaking lid. Looking for a needle in a haystack. The English is down. The English is down. <laughs> It's a great song. The system is down. Although I still prefer the Hoover with Gods. I can't find anything here. Metal guard rail that runs around the top step of the stone stairs. The rail is obviously very old. There are patches of rust all over it. That looks decidedly unsafe. Help! Help, bitch, I'm dying over here. No, I can't. It wouldn't let me. Didn't want to leave. What's the piece of railing that it has one broken end where it has sheared away from the steps behind you? Okay, that's what I did. That's what I needed. And now we use this then. Taking the railing in your hands, you carefully price open the lid of the junction box. There. The lid of the junction box is open and inside you can see a mass of wires and bits of circuitry. Electronics is something you've never been to get to grips with. Well, we don't need to. We'll just do this. You throw the water onto the open uh, junction box and turn it away as it begins to spark. Uh. Drastic measures, you know. A small lump of rock that appears to have come up from the wall that the security device was fixed to. The brick smolders slightly and is hot to the touch. Too hot to handle, I guess. Underfoot the glass crunches as you walk. There are bits of glass inside and outside the window left over from the explosion. There isn't really anything left of the security machine. There's just a crater in the wall where it used to be. Small wisps of the smoke rise out slowly upwards from the blackened wreckage. That glass has created quite a big hole in the window. Shards of broken glass lay all around and the edges of the window are sharp and jagged. Some parts of the window seem to have melted. You can't reach the window from here. 
The blast from the exploding security system has left a gaping hole in the balcony railing. It should be safe enough to climb up now. Unless there is a secondary security device of some kind. You hoist yourself onto the balcony. Gingerly, you step through the window. Why not blondly? Or... Um, whoops. I, um... <laughs> this chair is where Underwood must have been sitting when you sabotaged the security system. The top part of the chair has been completely blown away and blood drips from where what is left. woman lies in a pool of blood and entrails. Amazingly, she is still alive and she's trying to dig her fingernails into the floor in a desperate and futile attempt to drag herself away from you. Well, that's a name, isn't it? Yes. I wonder how long it would take you for you to find me. I have come this far. I have to kill you all. Then kill me now, you bastard. End this pain. Where are the others? As if... I tell you, a rock is, is growing. Soon he will be too strong. Then I must hurry, but first. Show me mercy. Show me the heavens. I want to die now. Well, where you're going is not gonna be the heavens, that's for sure. The BDU is set into the desktop at an angle comfortable for viewing when seated at the desk text scrolls occasionally upwards across the screen. Should I go downwards? I mean, it should be the Matrix. All the computers survived the blast. It shows garbled data. On the desk is a combined phone and answer machine. It has a small green display on the top and the wire trails off from the side. You pick up the handset, but the phone is dead. A mirrored drinks cabinet situated in the corner of the room. In the in the from surface, you see your reflection. Your face is covered in mud and dried blood, and your hair is matted together. Doesn't look like it from like that from there. Ugh. Please. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed. Dialed. This is a recording. Funny. <laughs> uh. So that's uh, four down. Yeah, four down, three to go. have done well. Only two remain, but they are very strong. Only two? I can feel their strength. The two left are a priest named Ogork and a violent psychopath named Beckett. The priest has almost reached entropy. He will use his power to transcend the boundaries of Earth. He seeks higher goals than the mere domination of the dream. Can I reach him in time? Perhaps, but you must act quickly. You already know where he is. What if he has reached entropy? Then pursue Beckett. He is the last and most evil threat to the dream web. He holds the final key. Now you must hurry. Did I do this in the wrong order? I mean, should have I gone to the other place first instead of uh, the boathouse? There was that other woman I should have gone to first. Like they said that I should go first. But I didn't. I'm just I did save here, but I'm curious. I'm curious. What if I don't go to the bowl house? 
It said the creek there for a second. Out the way, Chapel's house. That's where I needed to go. These cars with Metropolitan Police written on the side underneath the crest. The lights on the top are flashing and the passenger side is open. By the squad car you see a policeman taking notes. He looks up at the devastated building in front of him occasionally before he writes in his notepad. So sir, I'll have to ask you to leave the area. What happened? Looks like a terrorist attack. Are you a journalist? Another visitor. Stay a while. Bloody TTV, Stay thank you for the ball. Forever. No, I'm not, actually. I knew Miss Chapel. Was she inside? Well, so far, we haven't found a body inside the house. Can I go inside? No, you can't. There's still plasma residue from the explosion. It's too dangerous. Okay, maybe I should speak to her family. Yes, sir. That's a good idea. Now, if you don't mind, I've got work to do. Okay. Goodbye. Hmm. The detective is stood right by it! <laughs> I had to try! See if anything happens. So apparently just going here was a moot point anyway, she is already killed. Those bastards. Yep. So in other words, we didn't really miss anything, right? There is stuff to do here though. Well, if you say so, then we will do this. We'll have to do uh, the other part again. And so I want to make sure that I do everything in this game because this game is cool. So how do I get rid of the policeman so I can examine the place? I'm sure that's what we need to do here. I really think you should leave now, sir. There could be another device in the house. Oh yeah, of course. Sorry. A wall somewhere that we can climb. This wall? A section of high wall. You jump up in front of the wall and reach out. Your fingers just about grab the top. The picture shows a church, and it's one that you recognize, although the church is now abandoned. You try and recall the address, but it escapes you. You feel that the church is important, but where is it? A massive hole in the floor, in which must have been the result of a bomb explosion. Nothing else could have caused so much damage. The hole is steadily filling the wa with water from the bed. In the records you see the remains of a pair of purple curtains. There must have been a window just there. Part of the curtain rail is still attached to the curtain. The curtains are totally ruined. Anybody see anything? Ah, garbage. A blue plastic co network cartridge that appears to have partially, partly melted. The label is scorched and you can't read what is written on it. Maybe you should try putting it in a network interface. Might still might work. Let's go do that then. I think that's the only thing we can get from there.
check out what we get. That said, you may proceed and kill stuff. Good. First, I'm gonna examine this cartridge. We need a key. <sighs> if it's Beckett's thing. get into this cartridge just now. As far as I think. It would have been a great reference if it had been Quantum Leap. But alas, it is not so. Uh, here, 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 here. <sighs> Maybe it's L then. I don't think uh, it would be that short. Uh, well, let's go kill a lady then. Maybe we can find some answers in her building. Once we explode the shit out of it. Although we didn't really find anything last time. When we did, so. At least I know what to do here. So we can get through this quickly. Try Septimus. Steal copy protection passwords. Uh, so you you would have to have uh, the uh, manual in order to get the passwords, right? How would you even know what the, which uh, copy protection password to use? Unless it's always the same. Septimus. I mean, we might miss out on some juicy details that we want for the story. I never saw the manual. My game was cracked, so I had to look this up for you. Thanks. <laughs> so if this was a cracked game, all I needed to do was press enter, right? You key granted the picket. Alright, that's the car. Read a brief. To all members involved with Project 7, please note that O'Rourke is now within his secret chambers at St. Septimus and is not to be disturbed there. We believe that an assassin has been dispatched by the keepers. Oh, 
project members must remain vigilant and, if possible, retreat to a place of safety. Note that O'Rourke's play, place of hiding is St. Septimus Church. The Italian steps! Now I remember where the church is. Located in the Italian steps area of the city may be used as a refuge. Members of Project 7 must contact me to arrange this uh, if required. Dr. P. Goldstone, Sartain Industries. All, all these souvenirs cluttered up on my floor. Now let's go kill a bitch. I mean, uh, an enemy. So we can call her a bitch. Hey. And then bang. The booyah blam. Finally, we got the earth shattering kaboom. Now we see. I've to to G. 